Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Last of Us Part 1. So this episode will be the finale of this game. It's very bittersweet because I'm really looking forward to the ending and playing it through, but I'm also just upset that it's already over. And I think you guys are probably sick of me saying that by now, how much I love this game. I think I've said that more times than I can count, but it really is true, especially for this next part. And for the last episode where we had done the whole winter section with Ellie and Joel had just woken up from being impaled and he's all better now because Ellie got him some medicine and we had the whole fight with David and it was just very emotional, very upsetting, that whole scene. Like, even after all this time, it still bothers me, like, what Ellie went through and just the heartbreak on her face and the way she killed David was so brutal and just, yeah. It's brutal. Now at this point, Joel has essentially completely welcomed Ellie in as like a surrogate daughter and we see him really start to open up and talk to her, try to be the one to initiate conversations now, which is something he never really did at the start of the game. And I just love seeing that progression of his character and his his whole character arc is very, it's very emotional and very special to me. Just because of how well we can see that character progression from him being really closed off into essentially being a father again. And it's also heartbreaking that at that point, Ellie is now really reserved because of everything she went through with David. And so it's hard for her to like give that energy back and have conversations with Joel again. Anyways, guys, let's not waste more time today. Let's get into this game and see what happens next. All right, we're back. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be really hot in this sweater right now, but I'm running out of clothes to wear because I've been recording so many times. So look at Ellie's new outfit. How cute is that? Joel's got a new outfit too. Looking snazzy as ever. Looking handsome as ever. And she's all like sad and even in her animations, like her body language, they did it so well. Man. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Aw. Forgive us. Aw. Jeez. Oh, God. Those are teeny tiny little kids. That's upsetting. You know what? Let's make a smoke bomb. Geared up. I don't think I've made a smoke bomb this entire time. <laughs> Listen, I just, I guess I'm that good, you know? I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh yeah? Mm -mm. Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, there's no pilot. I try to hmm. use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. <laughs> and right before we crash, I wake up. Hmm. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. <laughs> Great commentary, Joel. You know, he's trying. He's putting in an effort. This whole section is beautiful too. It is quite long though, so I feel like this episode is going to be pretty long. But that's okay. There's a hospital, right? Yeah. Look at that. Another city. Another abandoned quarantine zone. <laughs> Their character models look so good. It's nice playing as healthy Joel again. Man, I am already sweating in this shirt. It's okay. At least stop being so sad. It's making me sad. Can we sneak in here? Oh. Dang. They must have bombed this place too. I imagine. There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. It's so weird with him being the main person to talk. It's kind of like... 
It's just sad. I mean, it's nice because he's really trying, but Ellie's just not not there mentally. <gasps> the giraffe scene. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about it. I'm so excited. Maybe we could right. do here. And I totally forgot. Such an iconic scene. <sighs> you could totally make that jump, Joel. I don't want to hear it. Oh yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's fine. Oh, his face, he's all sad. No, this is breaking my heart. Whoa. Lucia? Lucia? We made it to the quarantine zone. I wanted to call you, but all the phone lines are down in the city. They told us that they can deliver letters between the different zones, although it will probably take a week or two to reach you. We're in good spirits. Hannah talks about you a lot. She really misses you. I'm surprised at the calmness and maturity she's shown throughout this craziness. I feel like I've been the emotional one. I find that she's comforting me most of the time. You've raised her well. I hope all is well on your side of the country, and I really hope to hear your voice soon. Love, Graham. Aww. Graham's got some nice handwriting. We didn't have a clue back then. Aww. All their stuff is left here, too. Right, come on, Ellie. Well, we could use that ladder. Here we go. Ellie. Yeah. Ellie? What? A ladder. Come on. Right. You got this girl. Can you see the giraffe, I wonder? Can you see it? Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> Ellie! What is it? What Ellie. the heck? Ellie. You, can't, you can't be doing this to me, girl. She almost dropped that on my head. You gotta see this. What is it? Slow down. There might be stuff. Okay, I don't think there's anything. I can only jog so fast. Oh, you can see them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Are you kidding me? Aw. Joel, speed it up here. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Why is this gonna make me cry? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. The music too. Oh fuck, fuck. Mm. What are you doing? It's all right. Come here, come here. Hey, Bella. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Here, come on, let's go. Say, slow down, kiddo. <laughs> come on. No. <laughs> Bug. Ugh, stop. Oh, Why? <sighs> I think the music and everything, and like seeing her happy again.
So, is this everything you were hoping for? It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. Oh, this game. <laughs> I did not welcome these emotions. Look at these two, man. My heart. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. Look, I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. I wasn't lying about that. Man, it's still, it's crazy how there are still some parts of this game that I I still tear up at after all this time. Ooh. <laughs> he died doing what he loved. Ellie, <laughs> I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. Oh, I'll read that later. Book nine, Precipitate. The time has come for Daniela's second faster than light test flight. This time, the mission is not exploration, but infiltration. This time, Daniela is going to. Their payload, a 20 ter teraton anti-carbon bomb. Their crew, eight of the most capable, suicidal, and dangerous men and women of the last watch. Their mission, the annihilation of the Traveler homeworld. How many of these do I have? I don't know. At least Ellie is not left off with that cliffhanger, though. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's just seeing it all remade like this, and especially after playing part two and all that, it's like... How can you not still be a little emotional with this game? It keeps hitting you left and right with scenes. <laughs> it does not let up. Which is kind of funny because I don't remember crying when I first played it. Probably because I had like watched so many Let's Plays of it at that point. Plus when I was a kid I didn't really cry at anything. It's kind of weird. Yeah, when I was a kid like my mom would this say I was like... Me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you looked, you just saw families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it will. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. It's okay, Ellie. <sighs> it's nice hearing him finally talk about Sarah, too. Is this the last one? What is that? No idea what that is. Sharpest tool in the shed. Is that all of them? No way. I feel like I missed one. 
But I got an achievement, so maybe not. Oh. Right, you know what? Let's not make anything right now. I don't think I need to. Besides, we're gonna come up on a pretty big fight, and I want to see what I need. I'm gonna need shivs, but... I think there's a way to stealth through all of these guys, actually. Maybe I'll try to do that. Would that be disappointing? I don't know. Uh, map of the Salt Lake City Quarantine Zone. Handwritten notes across the map indicate locations of evacuation routes, hospital, and areas with no supplies left. Wonder how long this place held out. Let's get to work. Let's see what we got. Piercing. Not sure what that did, but great. Oh, look at that. The handle is like all duct taped together. That's kind of cool. Scope. Damn it. I don't have that many gears. I've been passed out. That's right. Increase the range. Combat ready. There's still empty pockets of that like tool holder. So that makes me feel like, but I think it's only like, no, I can't make anything else. Yeah, that yeah, looks good. Yeah, I think that's as many tools as I can get. I don't think I missed any. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. Aw, that's right. Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole it. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Aw. Getting to know you. Ugh. <sighs> well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <sighs> Thank you. No, you can't. I'm glad she gave that to him. I bet Tommy was freaking out trying to find that picture, though. You know, Maria and Ellie weren't together very long. How what did they get up to talking about so fast like that? Like, hey, did you know Joel had a dead daughter? <laughs> like, how did that conversation start out? I kind of want to know. All right, now this leads us into what I believe is the last ever infected this time battle. It's going to be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there. The fireflies. I'm sure of it. Oh, you weren't wrong. <laughs> this is the last infected fight, I think. Should I go out with a bang? I think so. I don't know. But I also want to be smart. And look at that lighting, too. Coming into the tunnel. So good. Shit. Yep, there's some bloaters here. Now this part is very, very challenging, especially on Survivor. Now I'm thinking... Maybe I can just... Get away with not killing the bloaters. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have that many things. Let's... Can I get a Molotov here? Stay still. That's a runner over there, okay. Be quiet. Those bloaters. I wonder. I thought there was only two. Is there only two? Still, I mean, that's a lot. Especially since they buffed them up. Oh god. 
Oh god. Oh no. <sighs> Ooh, nice. Forgot I had a flamethrower. Good night. <laughs> good night, good night, good night, good night. So far, so good. Let's just ignore that guy and not deal with him right now. Let's see what's up here. Alright, there is a lot of stuff in that room over there. Two clickers, I only have one shiv left. Alright. I need to get this guy. So he doesn't see me. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that camera. Good night. So long, friend. All right, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Get out of the water. I'm full on. I almost said rocket launcher. No, this is a flamethrower, Aaron. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here, but there's also a lot. There's so many of them. Girl, shh. I know, let's just keep at it. I still can't make a shiv. Damn it. That's okay. I hate the noises they make. Oh man. Shh, be quiet. It's okay. They're just in their own little world. It's fine. My camera's about to die, but that's also fine. Let me just kill these guys. Damn it! My camera! Oh shit! <laughs> it's okay, you know what? We're still going strong. I don't have time to pause it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get you. Let me get you. This is a no-camera Aaron Let's Play. You can see Joel's big old face up close to the camera. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, hi. My face is back. Thank you. Okay. Now, this is gonna be the tricky part. I think we're gonna have to kill that bloater. The two bloaters. Stay back. Might as well go out with a bang, am I right? There's a guy right there. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> God, the way they all turn. Jesus, that's a lot. All right. Oh shit. Do they know where I am? Yes, they do. They sure do. They sure do. They sure do. Okay. Oh my God, Ellie. Are you fighting? Are you pu- Oh my God. She's punching the fucking bloater! Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. She was fucking boxing the bloater, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a bad idea. Ah! No! No, no, no! No! Go! What?! I shipped him! <laughs> oh. You know, should we just, like, try to sneak out? I think you can just sneak out. Oh. I think I can make another Molotov. Alright, excellent. Excellent. Let's do this again, then. What?! Fuck. Did not mean to do that. Alright, well... Oh god. 
Oh. Run, Ellie, run. Ah! Whoa. Oh. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where are they coming from? What do I have? Nothing. Great. There we go. Is that it? No. It's definitely not it. Whew! There we go. Whew! All right. We did it. Oh, look at those body parts. All right, we still have a lot of ammo left. Nice. Wasn't too bad. Is that not it? No, I think that's it. Oh, I forgot about this gun. Huh. Okay, I think that's it. Wow. That was fun. Kind of sad that that's over. That crate could get us up there. Ellie, get on up there and drop that crate for me. <laughs> I, I couldn't be bothered to move my mouth for that line. Though. Good job, Ellie. We're good. I don't think they can reach us now. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I lost the ability to jump, though, I guess. Hey, watch your step. That's right. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's what we can do. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. <laughs> you got it. Aww. And he did. Man. I'm on the other side. Cool. Drop that ladder down for me. All right. Hold on. Whoa. Go. Oh. All right, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hey. The comics he's been reading. Aw. Catalyst. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Faced with the failure of their mission, Danielle and James chose to make the ultimate sacrifice for humanity, flying the ship and the anti-carbon bomb on it straight into a neutron star. The resulting explosion was the single most significant astronomical event since the formation of the galaxy, destroying the Traveler fleet, their home world, and countless other worlds and star systems. But will the sacrifice of two humanity's greatest heroes be enough to break the Traveler's iron grip? Dang, so they die? What the frick? That's some bullshit. Wee! Oh my god. Uh, I died! Oh my god. <sighs> and another jam door. Here you go. Alright. Give me a foot. Come on, get that door open. Isn't there a clicker in here? Look out! Ellie! Ah! 
Oh my god, I suck. Ellie! <laughs> you okay? Jesus! Yeah. I just surprised Just use all of my ammo. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. Oh. Wow. Well, good thing I used all of my ammo trying to kill it. Good job, me. Prepared for the worst. <laughs> Is that just like seeing all of the workbenches? That's funny. Oh. Nice. All right. All right. Yeah, I didn't end up using that shiv. Oh. Dang. Poor person starved to death there. Jeez. Honestly, that shift door, I don't think it was worth it. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. <gasps> okay. Piercing. Hell yeah. Very excited about that. That's all I wanted to do. That is all I wanted to do. I'm doing nicely. I know I'm gonna need it. Watch your head. Thanks, girl. Hey, look. There it is. So close. Bill didn't think we'd make it. Just stay put. I'm not going anywhere. I think we have to go underwater. <gasps> <sighs> I ain't making that jump. Man, you need a running start. That's what you need. You can't just jump. Oh man, it's not a foot. Oh, okay, it's just a boot. I am moving real slow. This reminds me of the hotel basement. AKA the scariest part in the game. Wait, what? I forgot. <laughs> oh, there's like a ladder up there, right? Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. I'm smart, I remember this game. Almost there, Ellie. Oh, a pallet. You made it. All right, come on. Come on. Don't be so bossy. Why don't you just swim across, huh? Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool how it's all flooded, though. Get on. Okay. Okay, there. Come on. <laughs> Be careful. I got you. Honestly, though, how would humanity even begin to start repairing everything they lost? That's crazy. Like, I can't even imagine it. Oh, that's right, that's right. Wait, what? No, I'm supposed to go over here, right? Yeah. Stand back. <laughs> Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? <laughs> I'll figure something out. Don't worry, Ellie. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, there's a fish. What's that? A rainbow trout? I found us some lunch, Ellie. <laughs> what? I have to go all the way over there again? Oh wait, oh wait, duh, I can just use a ladder. I am so dumb. There. This is probably the part I've replayed the least. Cause it's like right at the end. Usually when I replay games, I don't always finish them. I'm bad at that. Honestly, doing YouTube has made me commit to games a lot more, because sometimes I'll play them and then if I'm not feeling it, I'll just stop. But for YouTube, I just... 
I have to. <laughs> and I want to. Thanks. Oh boy. That's oh boy. Some pretty Let me go ahead and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind. Some pretty you. fast moving water. Wow, that water looks so good though. Dang. He is not jumping like Nathan Drake, that's for sure. Nate's got hops. Come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. <laughs> Let's get the hell off this thing. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be nice. Poor Joel. Wow, that water looks so real. That's crazy. Oh. Ellie, move. Aww. Oh! Ow. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's just not my day. Oh, wow, this looks so good. Oh, the glass. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is really not Joel's day. Just hit him in the face. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, swim. This part. Come on. I got you. Hands in the air! She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air! Come on, man. What an asshole. Like, what the fuck? Oh. Welcome to the Fireflies. Hey, Marlene. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up, and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. No thanks to your men. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. And you were gonna show me where she... 
Stop. With this guy. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. <sighs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. That was your first mistake, thinking he'd just walk away. Get up. I said get up. I don't think so. Come on. Move. I said move. <laughs> this guy's really testing me. Give me an excuse. Which way? Hmm. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. Oh, damn. Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Jeez. Where? Top floor, the far end. Thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> now, here's my thing, right? Did Marlene really, truly think that Joel would just be like, okay, thanks, and then leave? Huh? She really thought that? Now, don't think I had to kill every man on this floor here. But, we'll see. I'm gonna need more supplies, though. What? Not Ethan, not Ethan the asshole, not Ethan the complete dickhead. Oh my god, no. Now, Last of Us Part 2 gives this whole scene a completely different context, you know? About what Joel's about to do. Do I feel bad about it? No. <laughs> Alright, well that's not completely true. But, do I think it would have made a difference if Joel had known? No. Not at all. Good night. I have so much to say about the end of this game. Be prepared for ranting time. Well, not ranting, but like... I have a lot to say about it. Seriously. There are some Marlene artifacts. I love how Marlene is like... Yeah, you might be- you might be struggling right now, but guess what? I have it worse. It's like, fuck off. He literally went across the country with- with this girl. She has the audacity to say that. That's why Marlene pisses me off, man. However, I don't hate her, definitely not. I think she's a really cool character. I wish we got to see more of Marlene, honestly. But... In that scene, though... Damn. They gotta be mad. Nice. More than anything, I'm just surprised that she she made it this far. Cause her all her men were like dying. Someone's fucking hunting us! Oh shit, 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 shit. Fan out! Ah! Oh my god. He was turning his head all the way around. No. Absolutely not. Go to sleep. What? Oh, yes! Yes, I forgot. I forgot about that. Of course, they wait till the end of the game to give me this gun. 
Was that an MRI tube or something? My mom has experience in that. Where are you going? Oh. Man, another one down! Keep looking! Oh no. Generic NPC enemy number 37. Man, Joel is a force to be reckoned with. If I was Marlene and I had to make that choice, I'd be like, tie him up or something, I don't know. But. How are you just gonna be like, yeah, all right, leave. <laughs> Bye, Joel. Like, what? Are there any Marlene artifacts? Is that a computer online? What have you all been up to? There they are. Oh, shit. That's a lot of guys. Stay over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think they would see my shadow moving around. Wouldn't it be crazy if enemies could see your shadow moving? Don't move. Please don't move, sir. Whoa! Huh. Just, just, just walk past. Just keep walking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. This is not good. Oh! Hey, there's nothing over this way! Oh my god. Same here. No! Ah! No. Another body. You keep Go down, go down, go down. Ooh. Oh my god. How in the world did I do that? No idea. No clue. We're still in it. If you ask me how I did that, no clue. Couldn't tell you. Body! <laughs> Body! No, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't go in there. Go. Don't. Don't. Shh. It's sleepy time now. Go to sleep. What you doing, man? All right. I'm coming, baby girl! <laughs> Can't remember if there's any artifacts. I think there might be. Marlene talking a little bit about it. Because, I mean, it it must be hard for her. But it, it is a hard thing to deal with. Like, basically deciding between the fight, fate of humanity and someone you raised, essentially. Although, like, she didn't really raise Ellie, from what I can tell. She just kind of sent her off to the military school. He's over here! No, he's not! You don't know that! What the hell? What are you- what are you guys doing? Ah! Fuck you. Crap! They came back! Oh no. You know what? Can I just sprint out? <laughs> Sounds so mad. 
I wonder why. Who are you talking to, dude? I think it's just you. Oh, no, it's not. He's not over here! That's crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. This firefly is upgraded. Wait, what? Wasn't there a room over here? I'm going crazy. Crap. Crap. Grab it. Grab it. Ah! I'm going in here. <laughs> Bye. There you go. Anything? Anything? No. That's smart. Good job, Joel. I wonder if they saw me because my flashlight was on. I don't even remember. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking. <laughs> I don't know. More like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? Exhausted. I just want this to end. So be it. Yeah, I mean, can you really blame her? Like, what do you do in that situation? I would have no idea. She had to decide between humanity and Ellie. That's a pretty tough call. I think there's a shift door here. I don't think I can make a shift. Yeah, I can't. Crap. Well, I guess we gotta leave the shift door. Oh! Almost missed that. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression and Infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history, equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. It's, it's so hard because, like, when you think about it, to them, to these people that don't know Ellie, like, what's one more death? What's one more dead person? It's like, I feel like you'd just be completely numb to it at this point. You can't really blame them for wanting to do this at all, in my opinion. As much as we all love Ellie, like, to them, she's just another patient. She's just, you know, the cure. And... Here they are. 
Oh, this is Marlene's journal, I think, yeah. March 15th, we finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple of days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about their morale since Greg and... Ta Tania? <laughs> Tania's? Passing Leslie? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, Thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd, Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen much of these, some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful to just be alive, but right now I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th. They look, they look at me and I know what they're thinking. That we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? God damn it. I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty damn quickly, and my men were more than capable than I gave them credit for. More than a handful of su survived the army's attacks. I should have kept her with me. Instead, I handed her off to, to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed all of us. I am an incompetent grunt. April 25th. I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28th, one of our scouts just radioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join it. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running in the test center now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. <laughs> well, this is mine now. Sorry, Marlene. Damn. This is why this whole situation is so perfectly done. Because it's all so believable, like how everyone's reacting. Now, this part, this is the part, right? This is the only part in the entire game that I use smoke bombs. This is the only part and it's super useful. Here's what we're gonna do, everybody. I think Marlene let Joel go because of the fact that he brought Ellie all the way from Pittsburgh. He did his job. She wanted to give him that chance, but... Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Everyone ready? This is my tactic. Did you hear something? Oh my god. <laughs> I should buy some time. I can't believe that worked. We're at the hallway. Anyone who doesn't do it that way, I'm so sorry. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, um... I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Here's a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe... he can forgive me. Oh, I miss you, Anna. Your daughter will be with you soon. 
Not if Joel has anything to say about it. Well, you guys are still trying to get in here, huh? <laughs> I think that thing's on wheels too. How did that happen? Oh God, I've seen this door way too many fucking times. Yes, The Last of Us Part Two recontextualizes the scene quite a bit. Do I feel much regret? Not really. Let's go save Ellie. Sweet Jesus. Doctor! What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Don't come any closer. I mean it. No! no! Jesus Christ. <laughs> we all know. I got you. We all know what that led to. Oh shit. The song. They know what they are doing. God. can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still the right thing here. She won't feel anything. That you thought <laughs> you thought she'd give him up? No. Absolutely uh, not. What the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking us home. Just 
come after her. Oh, Joel. Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. Fuck. Every right. five seconds, I feel like we're gonna cry. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Look at them. Sorry. That's the city. Now, what's your head going through? I think it's the music and just everything, like. I got it. Feeling my age now. I think there's a comic book okay, over I here. I told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. Her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Oh. <sighs> It's just so heavy. Uh, I don't think I'll read the back of this just because I don't want to take away from the moment right now. Bit further now. I have a lot of emotions going through me right now. <laughs> oh no! Don't cry. I've done so good. Oh, Joel. Yeah, I got you. Give me your hand. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So, she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. It's just like, 
I think it's a mixture of like the nostalgia of playing this when I was a kid and like how much of an impact this game had on me and it's like I grew up with these characters you know they just mean so much to me and I think a lot of people were upset when I you know when I did my Last of Us 2 playthrough they were upset because they're like you're so biased on Joel's side you don't even think to look at Abby's side or or the other characters like you're so selfish and all that I got a lot of hate and I am biased <laughs> And this is why, because this story still holds such a place in my heart and these characters and waiting for seven years to have a part two and to have it just break my heart, that's hard. <laughs> that's really hard. And you know, props to Naughty Dog for telling the story that they wanted to in part two, but this one still is so much better in my opinion. I love everything about it to this day. I love it so much. And here's the thing about Joel that I feel like people, people try to justify what he did in that hospital. And I was making jokes like, you know, oh, I don't feel that bad even though I know what, what it leads to. I do feel bad, obviously. It is such a hard scenario that I pray no one in this world ever has to be put in. Marlene's shoes because it's clear that she was really wrestling with the fact that Ellie had to die in order to make this Vaccine in order to save the world. She really cared about Ellie in my opinion And she cared about her mom and she wanted to do right by her mom But there's no winning in that situation and the thing about Joel people are like well There's no guarantee that the vaccine would have worked anyway. It's like the fireflies were dying How, how did they know that killing Ellie would work? There was no guarantee It does not fucking matter. Not at all. Because even if there was a hundred percent guarantee that Ellie, if she died, they would make the vaccine, the world would be saved, everything's great, everything goes back to normal. It does not fucking matter. It does not matter at all. Joel would have still done exactly what he did because there was no way he was going to lose another daughter. And the parallel of him holding Ellie as he's running away from the soldiers just really hits you in the heart, doesn't it? So that's why everyone's like, well, trying to justify what Joel did. And it's like, he doesn't need there to be justification. That's the thing. It's like, there was absolutely nothing that was going to change his mind. I think the only possible thing would be if he was talking to Ellie herself. If Ellie was awake in the hospital room and she said, Joel... This is what I need to do. I need to do this. Like, you don't have the right to take this from me. And he didn't. He didn't have that right. She should have been the one to decide if she wanted to do this or not. That's the opinion I hold, is that she should have been the one to choose. Not Joel, not the doctors, not Marlene. She should have chosen that. It's her life. But we all know she would have sacrificed herself in a heartbeat. That's what makes this ending so impactful to me and so perfect is because it's not a happy ending, it's not a sad ending. It, it's an ending that makes you think. It makes you think what you would have done in that situation. It makes you wonder, you know, from this point on, I would have been happy had there been no Last of Us Part Two. I really would have because you can sort of just be okay imagining what it would have been like, you know. you Like back then I was like, I wonder if Ellie ever found out. Like she must have found out. And I think she knew that he was lying the whole time. She had a feeling. But seeing that scene in part two, that hurts. Really hurts to see that. It's just, it's hard because I have really changed my opinions in part two over the years. I've gone back and forth on that game so many times. And I started off not really liking it. And then I ended it and I thought about it. And I was like, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I just think I'm just really emotional. And then I replayed it on Survivor. And I started, like, the cracks start to show a little bit. First of all, the pacing in part two, whack. It is fucking terrible, the pacing in that game. I'm so sorry if you like part two, but the pacing in that game so bad and I won't get into it in case people want to go watch it and stuff but in my opinion the pacing for this one is so much better it's so much better because in part two it's 
very, very weird. I don't know how to feel about part two. I really don't have the time. It's like, I can appreciate it for what it is. It's not the story I wanted. It's not the story I wanted to see. It broke my heart over and over again. It makes me depressed. <laughs> and I don't like replaying it. So it's like, even though I think it's a story that's interesting, it's still not something that I liked playing, especially not like I like this one, because this one, I think how many times I reset it over and over again, where I was like, I love this game so much, it's my favorite game of all time, I love it so much. You guys got it, you got the picture, okay, I know. I can replay this one so many times, and then I look at part two and I don't want to replay it. It's just one of those games where I just, I feel miserable playing it. It just makes me so sad. I skip cutscenes because I don't want to watch them again because it's like I don't want to see that. And what does that leave me? You know, it's like it's upsetting. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset by that because they're like, well, you just don't understand. You don't have empathy for Abby's side of the story. And it's like, no, I do. And I truly think that if we played a whole separate game where it was just Abby's story and the, you know, the the timeline was a little bit better, where it was like Abby and Lev, I think I would have loved that. Because truthfully, I love Abby as a character. I think she's awesome. And then you remember what she did. And for me, I can't get past that. Even though I know Joel did worse, probably a lot worse at one point, and it's, you know, eye for an eye, that sort of thing. It's like... I don't know. It's just hard. It's really hard. Because I like Abby as a character, I just don't like her role in the game. So it's it's just really tricky. But, but yeah. I could talk all day about this. I really could. And I should probably shut up because <laughs> I've been talking for a long time. I just really hope that everyone enjoyed watching me play through this game even though I've played it so many times. I never get tired of it. I hope I wasn't too annoying. <laughs> I hope, I just hope everyone had a good time because that was really my main goal of playing this on the channel. I almost did a, a live stream of it, but I just thought, you know what, let's just commit and make a whole series. Why not? I think looking at it now, um, after everything's said and done, I look back on the $70 price tag and I still feel iffy about it. I think I've mentioned a few times already I talked about it but in my opinion I still think $70 is very steep I don't I didn't see much difference in the combat there obviously is a lot of difference as far as like how it looks how it controls is a huge thing but there were also a lot of weird glitches that I found with the gameplay that was a bit hard to deal with sometimes like the gun sometimes wasn't firing and it wouldn't load and it was just weird. Sometimes there were a lot of glitches. That's probably just down to like, this is a very new release. So maybe they'll update it to fix some of the glitches and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. We're back in the menu. You've unlocked new game plus and speed run mode. They can be activated when starting a new game. Your character skins, weapon skins, gameplay modifiers, filter modes, and other bonus content are available in extras. Also, new background. I like how they changed the, the daytime. Okay. So we got some skins here I want to look at. Let's look at this. Oh, we got a bunch of new skins. Oh my god, we got old Joel. What the frick? What the heck? Oh, Joel. Oh my god. We get to play as old, old, oh my god, didn't mean to zoom in there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Wow. Look how much longer his hair got. Man, I'm very excited to play. Play that skin. I think, th yeah, purple plaid, red plaid, gold plaid, gray sweatshirt. He's just chilling in this one. Look at that. He looks all comfy. I'd be sweating up a storm in that. Ooh, that's a nice shirt. Very excited about that. This looks like what he wore during Ellie's birthday. That looks really good. Got the long sleeve denim. And these were all in the original one, I think. Short sleeve denim, brown shirt. <laughs> All these are great. Oh, 
New backpack. That's pretty exciting. Dang! Two tone. Man, I'm gonna be using all of these. I'm definitely replaying this and I'm very excited. Oh my god, is that Kill Bill? What is that? What the heck? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god, she's got little jack goggles. That is really funny. Look at <laughs> look at that. That's amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, these were they did have these in the original. I remember. That's amazing. <laughs> when I'm replaying this, I'm definitely changing her outfit. Oh my god. It's her Seattle fit! That's so cool. That's awesome that they did that. I like how she has a long sleeve to cover her bite, too. Jack and Daxter shirt. <laughs> Some new Naughty Dog t-shirts, of course. Horizon Zero Dawn shirt. Oh my god. Ratchet and Clank. Infamous. SEO Resistance shirt. Returnal shirt. Shadow of the Colossus. God of War Ragnarok shirt. Oh my god. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh my god. Oh, I played all these games. Sly Cooper. Uncharted 4. Lost Legacy. Oh my god. Angel Knives. She got so many shirts. That's amazing. I love this. And I think you can see what they look like in cutscenes now, which is great. Look at all the skins. Oh, the moth. That's amazing. Oh, just like her tattoo. So cool. Model viewer, Joel Spring. <laughs> He's very angry. Joel carrying Ellie. Aw. I think we, sh we got this actually in um, part two. This is a model viewer. Dang, Ellie's passed out. <laughs> Joel and Ellie wrong campfire. I saw this! I saw this! Oh my god. Stop it! Stop it right now! Look how cute they are! Look how cute they are! I am dead inside. Oh my god. What is he carving? He's making a little rabbit! I can't look at that any longer or else I'm gonna cry. Ellie's spring. Aww. She's all tired and sad. Ellie epilogue. They really improved the graphics in that scene. Maria. I did unlock some of these when I wasn't playing. Unlocked it on my off time. Sam. <laughs> He's so tiny. Sam and Henry. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Boy, oh boy. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Robert. Ew. David. Ew. Nolan North did such a good job as David. He really did. He's like very unsuspecting, but creepy. And he looks kind, but then you know, like, he is not. Okay, so that concludes The Last of Us remake. The whole series! <laughs> I definitely talked a lot at the end, but in conclusion, I had an amazing time, and I really hope everyone enjoyed this series. If you did, leave a like or subscribe if you're new, because I'd love to have you stick around. Spooky season is right around the corner. I can't wait to play more games, and I hope to see you there. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.